Hello, hello, everyone. I greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus. My name is Joyce. I am thanking for I'm thanking God for our for this opportunity to talk to you today. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my, to the Bible study by Joyce Charlie. Today I am talking again. I continue with the words of the words of Jesus, precious words of Jesus, and today I will continue with the same topic I have been speaking about. That is love. Love is very very important in Christian life. Make sure you listen to me from the beginning to end, and because I am also going to give you an inter very interesting history about um, what Jesus told us about love and at the end of this uh, at the end of this video I am sure that you will never be the same again and uh, today I'm talking about love but what is love love is very very important for why is this I can just tell you that I am we are going, I'm going to read from Mark chapter 12 verse 30 to 31. Jesus said so love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind with all your strength and uh, the second is this love your neighbor as yourself there is no commandment greater than this so this to love loving loving god with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind and with all your strength remember that this is very important it is very important for god he thinks that is very important that we love him that way why do you think that god wants us to love him that way that we must have to love them, him with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength. You know, God is the author of the betrayed. God has been betrayed before. And God is very sensitive when, when in that terms of love. You know, the devil de betrayed God in heaven when he deceived the angels some so those fallen angels to to betray god and god has been betrayed god has created a fantastic heaven in heaven and he wanted to share with the creatures that he himself created so he would they would have harmony when he, he is when he is there but the devil betrayed god and god was hurt by that god created the human and he thought he wanted the human to be the loving creature but then the devil deceived adam again and the, and the, when he is god know that God, for God to be loved is very, very important. So, because now God has created in His heaven, a beautiful heaven, fantastic heaven, you understand? He wanted to share with people who are really loving Him, who will never betray Him, who will, bet who will never betray His love, because God is a very loving God. But the problem is we, people, can it change and we so God want us to show him we love him so much so that he can pick us to live in heaven you know that we are just on the race do you know that we are just traveling to heaven we are on this transit we are not just we are many people we when we live we can forget that we are actually in transit we are traveling from one place to another. We are traveling from from one place to another. And we are on the race. We are busy. We are busy when you are traveling. Do, do you know that? Do you, you, you never relax. You are busy all the time. I know every time when I, I travel. 
you when you are on the transit you go from one place to another you don't you do not have time to just relax and relax you are busy you are all the, always you are thinking about what will happen next you understand maybe after when he, if you are traveling with plane when you go to a place you know that you now have to change the plane perhaps so maybe i will not go to, I need to go fast and change the report to the new gate or whatever it is so you are always busy and this is how it is for um us we should think that and we are on the race like we are telling god pick me do you understand because god is looking at us he is looking that those qualities he need do we have those qualities those qualities that he wanted to live with in heaven you understand because the when you, the day when you are allowed to live in heaven it will be forever it will not be only the access to heaven only for one week it will not only for one day or one week or one month even if not for one year it will be forever and ever think about that and uh, there you become a citizen where you get everything for free that means that even if the mansions has been prepared for us so you must have to think about that God himself will take care of everything but he want us to have those characters that he need and the very important character is that we love him how can he live with the people who doesn't love him he must have to and how do we show god we love him we do his will the first thing we talk to him we praise him we love to praise him we love to worship him do you understand we are showing him our character our inner character that god will be so that god will be pleased and want to take us to heaven do you understand that jesus said he has given us the standard and the standard is that we must have to love god with all our hearts with all our with all our strength with all our soul with all our with all our strength with with all our we have to with all we have to we, we, with all our strength all our mind with all our soul do you understand that so we have to show him and we show him by actions and it's like we know it is like uh, when a man and a woman they want to live together you know they show themselves you tell a, a, a man like you know a bride is showing a man that pick me pick me they talk they flit they do whatever they showing each other that this is me i want you to pick you understand you i because i love you and because i need you because you need and a man is showing a, a girl that this i am the right man for you and we have also to show to god that i am the right person to live with you forever because there in in heaven there is n there is no enough place for so many people maybe enough place for all but why all are not allowed to get in is because they do not they f because they fail to show god the right character so you have that you have we have that ability to show god that right characters now and we have to do that we have to do his will amen and another so it says that is another so that the second law is this love your neighbor as yourself there is no commandment greater than this so we have to love the neighbor more love the neighbor loving the neighbor you have to love your neighbor who is your neighbor you know even if jesus has been asked one day who is my neighbor it was the um, it was the man uh, that is the man is the expert of the law asked jesus when he, that expert of the law is the 
asked Jesus, who is my neighbor? Who is my neighbor? And Jesus, uh, this is the reply from Jesus. You see what Jesus said? Jesus said in reply, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Then, and a priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. Mm -hmm. So too, a Lev Levite, when he saw, came to the place and he saw him pass by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, he came where the man was and he saw him, he took a pit on him. He went to him and bandaged his wound, pouring in oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and he gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return I will reimburse for you for an you I will reimburse you for an extra expense you may have. So which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The expert of the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. So this is what Jesus is talking about. He's telling us that there was a the man who was robbed was robbed. So the definition of the neighbor actually is not just exactly how we say well, ah, this is my neighbor, the one the man next to me. Yes, that's a neighbor. But the neighbor can be a total stranger. Whatever you meet. You know him or you don't know him. Uh, the person we have that we have that I cannot help a person who is not from my, my country. Oh, I cannot help a person that is, this is not my own, is not from my own country, is not from my own religion, is not from my own nation, is not from my own tribe, is not from my own, but uh, all those people are your neighbors. A neighbor is a total stranger. And the kindness that Jesus wants is this type of the kindness that you take care of that person. Do you understand? See, that is a Samaritan man, what he did. He took that man, a total stranger. He took him into the inn. He paid his own, he paid the bill. He gave him medicine. He really took care of him as his own. Do you understand? He took care of him as his own. Body was hurting. Do you understand? He, that is what God, Jesus is talking about. He's talking about, so when you are coming to the point, you should help someone. Don't ask yourself, why do I really to do this? Yes, do that. Because this is what God wants. Do you understand? Are you here to please whom? You are here to please God. And you do his will. Amen. We are on the race. We are fighting to come. Think about if someone has told you, you know, go to a competition 
and the winner will maybe will get a ticket to live maybe in the I don't know these hotels in some place like in maybe in Miami hotel I don't know for maybe two weeks what would you do when you go to that company people are doing that many people they go far in those kinds of a competition do you understand the competition you see that there are some people they are being I don't know I don't want to talk about that those kinds of you see that the girls taking off their clothes they walk in front of millions of people with only bikini in the what do they call um, Miss Universe because they want to be rewarded to become Miss Universe do you understand so we are in that kind of competition but our reward is to live in heaven forever do you understand that and this reward it means that, that does not mean that if I win someone else lose no I can win and someone else can win us because in heaven there is a big plus is a huge plus that is enough for everyone but the problem not all are, can go in because they fail to show the right characters so make sure you show those ca right characters to those people so when you are helping someone you are fulfilling the this kind of scripture you're fulfilling the law and loving the people is not only about the things of the of the body like uh, maybe someone is sick or whatever but also in the times of who you want everyone to go to heaven you don't want people to lose to, to their souls to lost to be lost you love your soul so much that you think that it's you don't want it to lose it. So why do you think that you can't help someone else to save their souls too? So if that is the kind of, this is how, I mean, if you love your soul so much that you can't lose, make sure that you fight for other people's souls too. Amen? So when we show this compassion in, we love our people like this, we are fulfilling the law of Jesus Christ and this is how we can this there is no other greater commandment than this amen so praise the living God I pray to God that you understand this the one who listened to this it this word shall melt inside of them and when they take this word they shall take it into practical so in, in the practice so that they can live with it and every time they go it shall stick in their mind in their hearts in their everywhere and it will change them in the name of jesus christ amen